Hi, Sam here with JBugs.com. In our last few videos, we installed the body of our 1971 Super Beetle back onto its chassis, installed all the steering and suspension components, and finished installing all the brake hoses and brake lines. Now, we can finish up the brake system by installing a brake food reservoir and the feed lines, so now we can get the brakes bled. We start in the trunk and install the reservoir with the tab at the back, inserting into the pedestal. A screw holds it in place at the front tab, but we'll pull the reservoir out in a moment. Once it is in place, we can install the feed lines through the body, down towards the master cylinder. Once the lines are wrestled into place, we mock up and cut the feed hoses to length. We pull up the reservoir so we can install the hoses onto the outlets. We set the reservoir back in place, install the hoses to the lines, then re-secure the reservoir to the body. Underneath the front of the car at the master cylinder, we mock up and cut the brake feed hoses to length, and then hook up the feed lines to the inlets on the master cylinder. The access isn't easy, so it takes some effort. And once the hoses are in place, we secure the feed lines to the front firewall tabs. Then, we check that the steering column doesn't hit the lines while it's turning. Now we can pour in some fresh DOT4 brake fluid into our brake fluid reservoir, and with it topped off, we check the hoses and feed lines for any leaks. Then, we're going to head to the right rear wheel, the farthest point from the master cylinder, to start bleeding the brakes there. We'll specifically note, there's no need to bench bleed the master cylinder. From play cars to daily drivers, and race cars to pan off restorations, we've installed and bled more brake systems when we can count, and we've never done it. With that said, we'll get to installing something that I'll personally be installing on every brake system I ever bleed from here on out. A quick bleeder valve. MV offers these quick bleeder valves in different sizes for all their disc brake conversion kits. We're installing 8mm valves at the rear and 7mm valves at the front to correspond with our calipers. And the installation is as simple as unthreading the standard bleeder valve and threading in the quick bleeder valve. The quick bleeders have a one-way check valve that allows air and brake fluid to come out but not go back in. So now all you have to do after installing a valve is open it, slip on a piece of tubing and a reservoir to catch the fluid, then pump the brake pedal. And once there's a constant flow of clean brake fluid, close the valve and go to the next caliper or wheel cylinder. We top off the brake fluid reservoir and repeat the process at the left rear side. Here we'll note that because the catch can is sitting below the caliper, the air bubbles in the hose are rising to the top. But because there's a one-way check valve in the bleeder, the air can't enter back into the caliper. With a clear stream of brake fluid exiting here, we tighten the valve, top off the fluid, and we can move to the front right wheel. Our front calipers have two bleeder valves since they're universal and fit the left or right side. We only need to bleed the valve at the top as any air in the caliper will rise to the top. So we pull the top valve, install a quick bleeder valve, Open it half a turn, and install our catch can. The brake pedal is pumped again, and once we don't see any air leaving the valve, we can close the valve, fill up the reservoir again, and move to the front left side to finish. With the front left side bled, we can top off the fluid one last time, and the job is done. I can say that I've never found an easier way to bleed the brakes. The brake system in our soup beetle was completely empty, and it took less than 10 minutes to bleed. Up next, We'll get to work on some of the interior components of our beetle. In the meantime, click the like button below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and when you need parts or accessories for your vintage Volkswagen, make sure to stop by jbugs.com.